Hello everyone, and welcome back for our next episode in our Alien Isolation playthrough. Well, what do you know, the third time was a charm. We managed to capture the alien, shoot it off the station, and we're done. No more alien counters the rest of this game. Right. At the moment, however, we're trying to make our way back to wait so we can beat the snot out of him for shooting us out of the space with that thing. My goodness, poor Amanda. She is as tough as her mom ever was, that's for sure. Maybe with the exception of going through the process of having an alien bust out of her and go through the cloning process so that it could be done over and over again. I mean, we have to admit, nothing's quite on par with Ripley, right? Either way, I'm having a blast. Hope you are too. Can't wait to get back in here and find out what's going to happen next. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have an awesome time. And if you do have a fantastic time, mean the world to me if you consider hitting that subscribe button. Without any further delay, let's get back in for some more chaos in Alien Isolation. Well, I have to admit, it's kind of weird. This is one of the first times in a long time where I start the match back up and I don't feel like I immediately need to run and hide somewhere. That's kind of wild. Okay, so we are in the process making our way back to the Bureau. Now, I can't remember. Did I already... I think I've already killed those androids before I got killed there. But there's probably some loot stuff I need to go pick up again. So, well, then again, maybe not. At least this time, we know how we're going to make our way back around. Farmax. Medical bandages. Well, that looks like a happy kid, doesn't it? Even though it's wounded. Okay, now I'm going under the impression. I think I mentioned this at the end of the last episode. It is, it's been, gosh, it's been, I think, three days since I've gotten to play anything, let alone this. It's been a busy week of work, my goodness. Oh, I look forward to the day I can hopefully do this full time someday. I'd rather just keep doing this stuff. But. Uh, where was I going with that? I don't remember where I was going with that. There was a thought I was having there for a second, but, uh, oh, I remember what it was. Uh, I'm going under the impression that any humans we come across are probably hostile. I feel like, oh my goodness, check out that axe. I bet I couldn't pick that up. Man, that looks serious. But yeah, so unless for some reason they stand out as a potential character that is not deadly, but where I gotta be careful is it was talking about how, um, you know, do I still have all my crafts? I think I do. Yeah, I'm low on resources there, okay. Um, the uh, people are hostile. Unless they absolutely stand out to me as potentially not being hostile, I'm going in the impression they are. I can stick both those in there. There we go. Only took me five minutes to get all the way through that thought, right? And that's assuming I kept it right. I don't know. Maybe I meant to go somewhere else with that. And I just like, oh, that must have been what I was getting ready to say. Stay perky. Freeze dried. Cup of Joe coffee. Freeze dried? That's interesting. I heard somebody walking. Oh, they must be under me. There's nobody left up here, is there? No. They're down below. Okay, speaking of that, uh, we'll go with this. I wish there were ways to make upgrades to, like the weapons so we could like increase accuracy and that sort of thing. Wait, for God's sakes, Apollo's let the androids off the leash. They're attacking on site. I don't know what the hell this is. They're not just responding to trespass violations, it's like they're hunting. For who? For everyone and anyone. What do you mean? Stand by. <laughs> Stand by. It still stinks that, you know, it's like Apollo's like brave. Although, actually, it probably worked out in a favor. My first thought was it stinks that waited till the alien was off to uh, get all brave and everything, but at the same time, if Apollo was doing all this hunting and I was having to dodge the alien, which I'm not a bit under the impression that that still might not happen. Okay, I see you. Are you a citizen, a civilian, or are you, you mean? You look, you look friendly. Scared, but friendly. Okay. Um, yeah, Apollo's gonna go nuts. The Joes are going to be after us like crazy, and the alien's going to be 
running after us like crazy. It's gonna happen. Just you watch. All right, the last time I did not actually check this area because I went the other direction. Oh, great, you're here. Stun baton. Man, he's, he just keeps walking no matter what the situation, just like a Terminator. Here, you wanna go play with that working Joe for me? Let me finish looting this place. Yeah, you probably will. He said, hush now. Suckers are freaky. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you should have ran. I want to check what's down that other direction, but... Oh, no, the map. That's what I was wanting to grab. I saw the map updates over here. That's what I was wanting to get first. It might just be supplies over this way. Oh, it did open. I really did not think that was going to happen. Uh, okay, it was just that. I it, I thought maybe that Joe had come in here, but it was just that gate. Oh! Of new awaits you. Come and join the and family today. Alien's not on here at the moment. Why am I so jumpy? Together. Clink, glug, ah, ah. <laughs> Some things are just too too good to be savored by two bottles. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, there it is. Did he see me? I can't. So, that door opens. Takes me through there. I wonder if I need to go up first. I know there were all those people over there. Part of me wonders, wonders if I should go up there and try to take them out, or should I just try to go this way and go straight to the bureau? Working together for a safer, better connected Sebastian. That's right. I'm working with you guys. Working with the working Joes. Okay, there's the Marshall's place. We're going to just try to go straight there for now. I am, however, going to see if there's any more loot I can grab. Oh. There he is. I thought he took off run. Who said that? We're going to make it through this? People up there? Oh, I think that's that's where I was at. It was up there. This is some bullshit. Okay, I'm waiting for that door to shut. <laughs> you are in safe hands. Yeah, we're in some hands, all right. I don't know if they're safe hands, though. Almost sounds like they're inside this little little restaurant here. How are you holding up? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Appreciate you asking. It sounds like they're right next to me. I think they're up there. Is that open? Checking all doors at the moment. Interact with that by any chance. Check for loot. Okay. Be advised. Apollo has raised the hazard containment alert to level Omega. Thank you. Omega. Wait, I've got some security shutters in my way. Can you open them? Wait. You bastards, you murdering bastards. Leave them alone. Stand down. He shouldn't be here. You'll be coming in stairs. You bastards. Oh, no. <laughs> they got in. <laughs> Hold still. Wait. Wait. Fine, I'll turn that right. Dang it. Waits was supposed to be mine to take care of. Okay, well, apparently level Omega means the Joes can kill the uh, the marshals. I just want to help you. <gasps> They're up there killing those guys. I think those are the ones that took me out last time. Gosh, those suckers are freaky. 
Okay. Open. Is that not the right door? It's gotta be this door. Oh, there it is. Okay. We're gonna go up. Did I check? The, uh, for some reason, I was thinking I walked next to this, but I don't think anything happened. Yeah, nothing happened there. Oh, man, the worker Joes. They are literally just as much of a threat as the alien. The only good thing about these guys, though, is you can outrun them fairly easily. You can actually kill them. Sometimes it costs a little bit. Uh, oh, hello. You always know a working Joe. Each working oh, he's not chasing me. Um, and they're not like an insta-kill. Unlike uh, you know, some other things we've encountered. Okay, he went back. Yeah, he went through here and killed them all, didn't he? Oh, I think he sees me. Uh, I better get my shotgun ready. I got a feeling I'm going to have to take this guy out. Boom! What do you think of that? Hmm? Oh! Sucks to be you! Got some revolver ammo on him. Yep. Well, dude, you're the one that took me out last time. So I kind of have no hard, uh, no hard feelings about him taking you out. We clearly weren't on the same team. Okay. Let's see what else will open up here for me. Oh, we got a save point. Okay. Let's see if we got any more loot we can grab first. Empty! Not cool. What is this little room here? It looks like stuff broke out of those. I wonder what could have busted out. Unless maybe the alien busted in so it could eat the people on the inside. I could see that possibly being a thing. You know, one nice thing about the worker Joe taking care of these things, kind of like when the alien does it for you too, it's like, you get free loot. Eh, kind of free. I guess it costs you a little bit to take down the Joe, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and reload this. Both shells, please. Okay. Best on the station. We delivered three stars. Zing Zang. I don't know. Those three stars. I, I don't see like any empty stars there. So I don't know. Maybe three is the max you can get. I do like me some uh, Chinese food. Actually, what I had yesterday. It was fantastic. It doesn't look like we can open the lockers. I'm not seeing any lights on these. Yeah. I wish I kind of knew how to use that stun baton thing a little better. I don't know, maybe if I can find an opportunity to sneak up behind somebody, I can use that to stun them. But they would have to be by themselves, or that's not going to do me a whole lot of good. I mean, I would guess these were like dog kennels, just because they're so small. But... I wonder if these were some kind of sleeping quarters. Let's see what this thing says. Maybe it'll shed some light on this. Heist, you still there? Why the heck didn't we have the smarts to stay on the Anisadora? They shut me in a lab over in Sistec Spire. For the love of God, come find me. Elevators are out and their bodies are everywhere. I'm sure I can hear it in the walls. Yes, I'm sure you certainly can. Oh, here we go. Thanks. I'm leaving this for you when you wake up. I know that you're still all over the place after that thing came out of Foster, but you've got to stop fucking up like this. Okay, I did a quick swoosh pass there. You, there's no way to hear the voices once they start overlapping like that. So let's try this again. Meeks, I'm leaving this for you when you wake up. 
I know that you're still all over the place after that thing came out of Foster, but you've got to stop fucking up like this. You got way too drunk and told those people sleeping in the mall way too much. Uh -huh. I dragged you away when I saw the look in their eyes. We can't go back there again. No one can know we're connected to Marlo and the Anisadora. Now come back once you've dried out. The Anisadora. Hmm. So I wonder if Meeks saw it come out. After, it says after that thing came out of Foster, but I don't know how they would know that unless they actually saw it happen. And since she was here for Dr. Lingard, I think it was, to actually w try to tend, you know, try to help, and she knew the parasite was in her, then it means it couldn't have busted out on their flight over. It had to be... Had to be something that happened here. Maybe, like, he saw it happen in the medical lab or something. Hmm. Corrupted. Now, why didn't we have the smarts to stay on the Anisadora? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I think these were beds people were sleeping out. Are they bigger on the inside? I mean, that doesn't seem big enough to, like, stretch out in. I don't know. Uh, but that does make me wonder if, um, that, uh, the prisoner was Mar Marlo? I forget what his name was. Something like that. I wonder if he's still alive in there. Maybe the Joes can't get to him at the moment because he's locked up. I still think he's going to be how that thing get the alien gets back on this station. Oh, my flamethrower. Is it fully loaded? There we go. Ding! Alright. Ba boom Okay, where are we at? Okay, I am off the map here at this point. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. Really? I don't know if it saw me or not. Does a stun baton work on that? If so, I might try. I might see. What are you doing here? Uh, where's the door? There's the door. Oh! Oh, I shocked it! You want some more of this, dude? Can I can I melee you now? No! Dude, you were electrocuted! Not cool. Uh. Now let's get you. Uh. Yeah, beat you to a pulp. Uh. <laughs> oh, took you down, dude! <laughs> that was oddly... Strangely, super satisfying. I actually really enjoyed that. And I successfully did something with Stun Baton. Those things helping with the Joes is fantastic. Because if I can take them down and save my shotguns for, I don't know, something bigger, more emergency type situations, that would totally be my preference. Okay. Whew. I didn't even get to see what the achievement was. If I, if I think of it when I'm editing, I'll pop it up on the screen here. Might have something to do with the fact that I... I don't know if it was specific to the fact I stunned a Joe. Or if it was just the fact that I used it. Personally, I'm kind of hoping that it's like, You stunned a Joe! I'm like, yeah, he deserved it. He was becoming... Irrational. Or what's, what's the word they use when they, they say that we're acting up? Getting out of control. That Joe had it coming, let me tell you. Okay. Oh! Spooked me a little bit. Okay, we'll check that here in a minute. I mean, ultimately, we do need to try to go back down if we're trying to get into the, uh, the Marshall's place. The Bureau. 
I had a feeling we'd end up just finding a vent. But, nice to see they're kind of changing up a little bit. Not to say a vent might not still be the way we get in there. Okay, max on sensors. Here we go. Let's go ahead and... That's a nice big craft. It's so fun to actually be starting to use all this stuff I had. I had some people say, you should be using that stuff on the aliens and stuff. I was like, yeah, but... With the exception of just running it off, I, I feel like I'm more in danger. Because, for example, the flare, I could I could pull that out, light it, and throw it. But I feel like in the process of me trying to do that, I'm going to get myself killed. And then, uh, because I'm no longer on the, the, the flare or the flamethrower. But now that we're having all these interactions with the humans, humans, and the Joes, it's kind of fun to be toying around with all these things. I got a nice little supply of goodies. Anything in the area? Don't look like it. I feel like we've been here before. It looks kind of familiar. Ooh, more flamethrower fluid. I'd love to get that all the way back up to 500 <laughs> before we start to run into that alien again. That would be fabulous. Okay. We are obviously going to open every one of these doors. Find every goodie I possibly can. Okay. Aha! I was like, there's no... Oh, and it's empty. Okay. I was all proud of myself, found the thing all the way back there behind the stack of crates, and then it turned out it was empty. Still like her watch. Got kind of an old-fashioned vibe to it. Half expect to see uh, one of those little, remember the watches with the little calculators built into it? I had one of those. I thought I was so cool. And you know why? Because I was cool. They don't make watches like that nowadays. Even these smart watches, they can't compete. Give me a smartwatch that has a uh, a calculator that comes folding out or something. That's what I want to see. Hollow projector of a something. Napoleon Dynamite, man. That's what I want. I want to. I want to watch that Napoleon Dynamite would wear. That's good stuff. Which direction does the vent go? What I'm wondering is there was another room over there, but part of me wonders if I can't get in through the outside if the vent's what I have to take to get in there. Well, let's try being on feet before I go crawling through a vent. This one here. That's the, that's the one I was talking about. Mm, okay. What we got in this one? What are your plans? Hey, Mart, I guess you've heard about the station decommissioned by now. What are your plans? I've got some connections that can hook me up with work when we leave. I can't promise anything, but maybe they can find something, find you something too. They started closing down stores in the Galleria. Your place was still boarded up from last year. Sorry you had to lose it. You never seemed to catch a break. Do you still hear from Marguerite and the kids? Maybe you should go see them when you leave Sevastopol. Let me know if you want me to ask around for you, Gillian. Oh, that was nice of him. Or her. Uh, Blythe. That's an interesting name. Blythe, we need to find a way to shut down those automated janitors. They're a security problem. Every time they start their cleaning circuit, there's a risk they'll open up a route for that thing that's hunting us. Or, at the very least, let looters in. Well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of what we used a minute ago. Something tells me, though, that alien has a mill. That alien's bill find a way into anything it wants to. Those vents go everywhere in the ceiling. I would not blame those at all. Sevastopol inhabitants. The station decommission process is now underway. Please read carefully and take note. An initial team is on station to survey Sevastopol and initialize the decommissioning process. Please help them in any way you can. 
We have enough food and medical supplies. The redirection of the supply ship flight path will not impact on your quality of life. Rationing will, however, be deemed necessary if stocks run low. Boarding and illegal trading will not be tolerated. Please report suspicious activity to Seeks and Security, who will investigate in cooperation with the Colonial Marshals. A population rehoming service has been established. We are happy to help you with your next step, but are not liable for costs incurred. Oh. So nice of them. If you require financial support, we recommend Seeks and Credit Services. <laughs> of course you do. You know, we can't pay you. We got to shut everything down because we're out of money, but we can loan you money and then charge you a big interest rate and you pay us back. And so we can then make money off of you, even though you have no way of making money now. Yeah, that sounds great. The decommission is final. You must relocate or you will be faced with forced removal by method of alien maybe that's what it is like these are all the people that were like refusing to move they're like fine and they released an alien and be like you take care of them <laughs> people are scared i have been camped out in galeria more for maybe 24 hours the people here they're scared but they still believe that martial ways will kill the creature <laughs> they forget other dangers they forget themselves People are turning on each other for food, for water. I cannot stay here. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a weird situation. It, it, they're on a station. It's not like they can just, you know, if you're in a, a uh, an area that's hit with a flood or something where you live at, it's not like there's people just miles away that can come over and help you or you can find a way to travel that distance and just you know be there or even just get out and start walking get you a bike and ru ride or hop in a car or something these people are stranded in space on a station that is falling apart has no regular supplies coming to it and it you know recent events literally has a alien running around dropping out and killing anything it wants to move and then you got the worker joe's also turning on everybody these people were in a bad situation. Okay, drink neat. Yeah, we've seen that one before. You know, it's kind of fun to actually get to take in the surroundings again for a change. Hadn't got to do much of that here recently. For some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it could have been. This one going to open. No. Okay, we are on the other side of that. Nourishing niblets. Yeah, those we've seen, that we've seen. Okay, yep, that's where the vent came out. That's what I was wondering. Thank you. Oh, there was something else that was maxed. Um, yep. We're gonna create one of those. My goodness, so many supplies. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and commit another one of those. There we are. Um, yes. I do like me an EMP. I haven't really used... I haven't used the smoke bomb yet. I feel like I'm worried when I throw a smoke bomb out there that I'm going to be the only thing that can't really see where I'm going. <laughs> I haven't been in a situation where I'm like confident that I'll actually be able to navigate my way around. Okay, that's good. Now I can pick it up. Uh... Okay, we're going to go ahead and take this back, just in case there's maybe some supplies down here. You know, sometimes we can find a... <laughs> a body or something. And maybe it goes in more than one direction. I own the vents now. I ain't got to worry about the alien, which is nice. Okay. Nope, it just came straight back here. I gotta say, compared to the last several episodes, this one is starting out very mild. Who knows? Maybe I can get myself to play three episodes tonight instead of just two. That would be fun. I don't know how long this game is. I got a feeling I'm nowhere near the end of this thing yet. Oh, and that does remind me, I had somebody mention, you know, there are a couple DLCs for this. I didn't know there were. But I've added them to my wish list, and my goal is to play those 
after this. I hear they said that they're not very long. You might actually still be alive. Let's check you, shall we? I can't search you. You're gonna wait until I go through there, aren't you? I know you are. Okay, you might be dead now. Yeah, uh-huh. That's what I thought. Oh, I forgot, she dumps them all out. I think I do lose the bullets, because if she dumped them all out, it's I didn't see my front number jump back up. So I mean, I, I just lost five bullets. Can't pick it back up off the ground either. That's sad. Oh, here we go. Here's probably what's gonna help lead us down into that area. But this also means there's gonna be probably some worker Joes in here, right? Am I inside? Close. They are in here, they're not moving. It's so quiet. Oh. Oh. Something moved. Oh, the door shut, okay. Let's see if we can read this. Oh, dang it, the door opened. I was hoping it was gonna stay shut. Uh, we've already, yeah, we've already listened to these ones. Okay. Okay, where's Waits at? Where's his body? Oh, check it out. That's so cool. And it actually looks like we're moving, too, because you can see the, the stars kind of moving off in that direction. That's the station. How wild would it be if, like, you were looking at this, and then suddenly we saw the alien just come... <laughs> and go crawling into a vent from the outside. Oh, terrible. Super cool, but terrible. I'm assuming we already listened to this, Rich, but... I we should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Now, it was a nasty business, and I understand that you want to deal with it as quietly and quickly as possible. But I wanted to make sure you didn't do anything rash. I'm talking about catching the specimen without killing it. If we play it smart, we could be set up for life. I have the connections. I can set it up. You're getting old, weight, so you can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sevastopol closes? You have my number. Ransom out. We'd heard that before. Oh, okay. Let's get out here and see if there's anybody still around. It's so wild. It's like rippled glass and it looks like it as you move back and forth. It's so cool. This game is fantastic. Peeking through. Oh, wait a minute. Taylor was in here, wasn't she? I hope she's okay. Okay, we'll go that way here in a minute. I'm gonna finish checking this area back here. Hmm. I wonder how to get in there. I wonder if that's a... Oh, there's a door on that side. Okay. I see a case sitting on the table. Makes me think there might be something there. Like, valuable. Could be a weapon. Oh, this has been ripped open. This obviously was not open before. Scrap. Wonder if they found what they were looking for. Is it a potential company cover-up? Is that why Apollo's like on the fritz? They're trying to like cover up what happened. Who did they break him out? Kill him? What's going on? I have so many questions. Mother, you got any questions? That you're gonna talk to me. 
That is a really cool looking room though. Alright, alright. And find out. If Taylor's dead. Okay, she's gone. Wait a minute, no, this is where this is where I came up. That's where Taylor was, wasn't it? Or have I gotten turned around? If that girl ends up like just dead before she gets to do anything in this game, I'm gonna feel so bad for her. She is she's had it rough. I don't know how much is gonna help her career after all. Hello? Rip. Rip, they're all dead. The Android slaughtered them. Why? Why the fuck was I don't know. But I think Samuels does. Samuels? Why? Wait sent him to access Apollo. I need to find him. Have you seen Taylor and Marlowe? No. No. They're not here. I think they may have got clear. Ricardo. Ricardo! If I go after Samuels, can you run this place? I need eyes and ears. I'm not fucking staying here. Ricardo, I need you to do this. Can you man the station and keep me covered? Ricardo! Yeah, sure. Of course. Sit tight. Lock the fucking doors and don't let anyone in. Look after me. I'll come back for you. I trust Ricardo more than I did Waits anyways. I would much rather have him look and watch in my back. Because I think he actually would watch it. But he is in a bit of shock. Which I don't blame him. This is kind of a... Uh, Kind of quite the scene to come back to. Okay, so we know Taylor got out. And I've already been in there. Okay, I guess we're good to move on forward. Let's go ahead and... I know I just saved, but let's go ahead and hit this again so that if something happens, I go out there and die. I don't have to re-listen to all of that dialogue. Okay. So we might finally get to hook up with... With Samuels. I feel like he's been here all along, but we haven't gotten to do anything with him. Okay. Seems clear at the moment. Is that an android or a person? Okay. It is an android. Who oh, are they now? Uh, I got some good service for you right here at the end of the stick. Ooh! Yeah. I'm beating down every one of y'all now. <laughs> oh, so satisfying. Okay, where's it I'm trying to get to? I didn't even pay any attention where I'm supposed to go get a cart. Okay, over here. Oh, what's the... It's a number sign thing? I don't recognize that one. Passcode log. I don't remember what I needed a passcode for. Oh, not that. Uh, let's switch back to you just in case. I think this door opens. Oh. Shortcut. <laughs> I'm kind of having fun with the Joes now at the moment. Finally getting to just beat the snot out of them. It's actually kind of fun. Oh, is there two of them? There's only the one. Were there supplies? Okay, we're going to go just this one direction. I can't remember. Where I've explored here and where I haven't at the moment. Thank you. I might be able to just sneak past this one. Yeah, he's right on the other side of this. 
phone walking. Yeah, you can forget all about this little detail. I'm okay with that. Okay, now which of these do I need to call? Alright, down this way. Can I get in there yet? Nope, invalid device. So we definitely need to upgrade our laser cutter thing still. Plasma cutter. I got two that sound very similar. And my guess is our little handheld thing has probably got another upgrade it can have done to it as well. Okay, I need the first one. Something amiss. Come with me, please. Oh! Uh, where's my... Yeah, here. There's nothing amiss. Uh. <laughs> ah. What'd you get for coming down here, dude? I tried to walk past you. You brought that one on yourself. Whew. I tell you what, doing things like this, hitting buttons and noise and all that kind of stuff, it's not near as intimidating when you know the alien's not on board. Problem is, we just don't know when it's going to get back on board, because I know it's going to get back on here somehow. It just has to. There's no way it doesn't. I fully expect us to be running back and forth here for a little bit, dealing with some of these humans we've been hearing about. And then at some point, Mr. Alien Friend's going to be back on here. Probably completely unexpected. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm kind of hoping too. I kind of, I, I don't want to know when it's here. Complete the 11th mission. I totally forgot those things were numbered. I think someone told me there's 18 missions. Maybe it was 17. It was somewhere in that ballpark. So I'm, I'm a little over halfway through the game. It sounds like. Got some fun little tunes playing here. Okay. Is this some place I've been before? Probably. Oh, the medical. This is where it all started, baby. Like the, the real scares and stuff that is. I can see activity on terminals on the top levels of seeds and synthetics. Rip, I'm not sure I can do this. Ricardo, I need you to focus. You got this, Ricardo. I got faith in you. Uh, okay, so that's somewhere I can't go. Transit control. Okay, so that's where I came out of, so I probably yes. don't need to go anywhere. You're there. in charge now. In charge? In charge of what? A room full of dead people? This is fucked up! <laughs> full of dead Focus, people. Ricardo. If Samuels can talk to Apollo, he can get the androids to stand down. Then this will all be over. Well, Ricardo, if any of those guys give you trouble, you threaten to shoot them. <laughs> a room full of dead people. What am I in charge of? It's hilarious. I love that. I like Ricardo. He's a fun character. Oh boy, sensors are maxed. Um, I can't craft batons, can it? Man, now that I'm using those so much, I kind of wish I could just craft them. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I don't have them memorized yet. Okay, here we go. That's perfect. I can craft that, finish off that craft, and then I should be able to pick this up, right? Oh, injector. Apparently, that's different. Uh, here we go. That uses one. A couple bonding agents. What else do we got here? Go ahead and craft that. Noisemaker. I'm still thinking about that. In charge of what? A room full of dead people. Dude, I would totally be probably saying the same thing. I'd be freaking out. You don't understand. Maybe, Ricardo, what you need to do will make you feel better is if you uh, try to clean up a little bit. So they're not just all strewn all over that front room. That might help. Don't really need another one of these yet, but I don't know what the max is I can hold, like, of crafted. My guess is there is a limit. 
This definitely seems like the kind of game that would put a limit on that. Uh, I guess I'll switch the revolver just in case I need something. This direction I need to be going? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Restore power. Okay, so I can't just cut into this one. Okay. So is is medical? Is that where Samuels was going? I can't remember if that's where he said that he sent Samuels. I just hope Samuels didn't get like corrupted by Apollo. Like trying to jack into that if he didn't end up getting, you know, uh, corrupted or something. That's what I'm nervous about. Polly, you still watching? Yep. Polly's still watching. Anybody around? Seems pretty. Oh, I thought that was something I could pick up. I remember right, it's just a, like a meat bar? Yeah, a meat bar. Who would want to eat a meat bar? I mean, protein bar sounds fine, but you call it a meat bar? <laughs> this sounds gross to me. Oh, and I thought that's where I was going to need to go. Okay. Uh. Over here? Oh, that is where we got. I was like... I wasn't looking for an elevator. Okay. Siegs and synthetics. This makes a lot more sense as to where he would have sent. That dude's got something just shoved straight down his throat. Ripley, there's a security alert firing off in the labs nearby. Elevators are out. Looks like the seats and synthetics aren't taking kindly to a wailing Utani model snooping around. So how do I get up? You have to climb. There's a service vent through to the elevator shaft around there somewhere. Well, that's obviously a nod back to uh, first alien movie. My goodness. Talk about a painful way to go. Having a magazine shoved down your throat. I mean... It just doesn't seem like the kind of thing you would expect uh, to be used as like a, a choking hazard. Okay. It's kind of cool that they put it in there like that because, you know, anyone who's watched the movies will know kind of wh what that's about. Uh, Smythe, read this. Don't be mad, but I went through to the elevator shaft and shut the access door behind me. I had a Joe on my tail, so I had to get out, get out of there. If you can find something to cut through the panel, the code is 8382. All right, got that jotted down. Uh, no sign of the lovebirds, but I've got a whole heap of guns and supplies up here. Russell. Oh, no, I didn't want to back up. I thought I had selected it. Need to go down. There we go. An outpost, outpost of progress number two. Uh, I feel like we read this a long time ago, didn't we? On another one? Well, just because this is a new computer, I'm going to read it just in case it's not. Seekson's Frail Origins. After Wayland's Industries led the way in faster than light travel, Seekson found success mass producing the flight components central to the colonial gold rush that followed. Its ensuing overexpansion and reputation for producing low cost alternatives to Wayland branded goods is a matter of public record. In the modern day, Siegson is attempting to change the fortunes of alien colonial outposts. Stations like Sevastopol received inv receive investment and Siegson affiliated companies set up shop. But the economic patterns that once worked within the soul system have now flourished in deep space. Wait, wait, wait. Patterns that work that once worked within the soul system have not flourished in deep space. Okay, that makes more sense. On Sevastopol, mass-produced no-frill androids still sit in their boxes. Machines and research facilities are still shrouded in the plastic they were delivered in. Trading docks are used only by the flourishing black market that the station's residents have come to rely on. Sevastopol is a ghost town and nobody cares. No, we hadn't read that one. Well, we did go through that one place where it was like, 
there's a bunch of droids like in vacuum wrapped seals or whatever. That's funny. So they thought they'd get out here, make a quick buck, found out, found out it didn't really work here. So then the people were like, that's all right. We'll find another use for your station. For a second there, I thought I heard something going through the vents. I was like, uh, I don't think so. All right. Androids have taken over. Apollo's like, look, if you guys aren't going to use this station, I'm going to use it. Oh my goodness. Is that Samuels right there? There's no way that's Samuels. Kind of looks dressed like him. Uh. Are these these are like where the people were standing and they, I came sneaking across there and the alien tackled that one body off of the, the ledge. I gotta say it's a lot more fun coming through here not being hunted. At least at the moment. Okay, nothing showing up there. Any more boxes or anything I'm going? Hmm. This vent might just take me straight across. Okay, let's keep going around. Hope Samuels is okay. You know, I don't know if I got to read all this stuff before. Maybe I can read it now since I'm not being chased. Let's see. Synthetic. Nope, that was the dentist who was asking for help, right? Yeah, collecting dust. Okay, so that one we did read, thankfully. It's been quite a challenge trying to read and gather as much lore and information while being hunted, you know? It's pretty fun. The game feels so peaceful right now. It feels really weird. I'm sure it won't stay that way. I'm enjoying it while I can, because I learned from the first time. I think I even had somebody comment at one point. They're like, oh... They, when I first started the series, like, enjoy it while you can, because, um, it ain't gonna stay that way. And you were right. Well, I'm starting to max out on supplies again. Uh, throw one of you here, you here. Okay, about this. Nope. Keep that. Yep, I'll throw one of those in there. Flashbang. Oh, it's not giving the option to craft anymore, so six must be the limit. Maybe there's a different limit per different items. Well, if I max on those, I might as well go ahead and start stocking up on some of these other things. I'm going to have to toss out one of those little gas grenades here at some point just so I can see what it looks like. And who knows, maybe there's an achievement that goes for using that thing also. Oh yeah, this is the way I snuck my way back up behind those people. I remember that. This is so weird. Reminds me of like some Terminator factory. Can I interact with this? What do I got options for here? Camera feed. Gosh, music got all loud and stuff all of a sudden. I thought something was coming up to get me. Am I going the right way? I am not going the right way at all, am I? No. I'm totally getting distracted. It's because I can like freely walk through this area now, whereas I couldn't before. So now I'm like super curious. Okay. Now where... Out this way? Talking about this here. Aha! Uh -huh -huh. Okay. Moving on around. There we go. Oh, yeah, this one does have a code to it. Uh, 8382. 
eight, three, eight, two. That was simple enough. You hear that, right? It sounds almost like there is something in the vents. I'm assuming there's not, but it sure is sounding like it at the moment. I just hope there's not a worker Joe down here somewhere who's going to grab me all of a sudden. Oh, what kind of a bridge is that? Am I on an elevator? Don't fall on me. Look at that's just barely reaching. I feel like this is going to be bad. Woo. Okay, I can't search all toolboxes. I just went up to this one. I couldn't search it, so that makes me feel better. Uh. Oh. Oh, great. I start climbing this, and that elevator starts moving. Apollo, are you able to see me out here? Oh, crap. It's going to fall. No, no, no. Oh, it was shaking. No need to turn and look. Climb up! Don't be looking at that! Yikes! Oh! That was terrifying. <laughs> Woo! Did we open that? Okay. Woo! There's not even an alien here right now, and these vents are still terrifying. on edge. How is that possible? Any Joes need to beat down? I got six batons with y'all's name on it. There's one ripped in half. Maybe that was Samuel's doing. He's like some ultra android. That's Wayland Tech coming against Seekson. It's like, yeah, you guys don't stand a chance. Oh, I can't search you. Okay. I don't play around y'all anymore. Okay. This one convolted though. I'm sure that one would have grabbed me. Looks like the place synthetics go to die. Oh, no, we had. That one's hands moving is a little bit. These guys are like all ripped apart. Can I talk to this one? Anymore. I don't take no chance with you. He wouldn't let me talk to you, so I was like, nope. I'm shooting it. What is up with this one? Why are these guys all being like ripped apart like this? Okay. Okay, we are at about that one hour mark. That's what I'm gonna have to call it on this one. This does feel like an Android graveyard or something. This is wild. And this is where, this is where Samuels is supposed to be. Like I said, he seemed like a pretty trustworthy Android so far. Uh, I know it can be easy to be weary of the Android just because of the movies. But he seemed pretty legit for a while, but I don't know if maybe Apollo was able to infect him in some way. Maybe he is corrupt. Maybe he's been sent here on behalf of the company to uh, 
clean up this place and they're going to just like detonate it and blow it up and, you know, wipe out their losses and stuff. I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to find out on the next episode. Until then, continue to be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one.